How many of you are coming here for the first time? Lift up your hands. If you are coming here for the first time, or oh, you are always here, and why are you always here? Okay, put your hands down. How many of you are coming here for the first time? Lift up your hands. So, you are those you are always here. Eh? And why are you always here? Other people went to work. Is it because you're not working? Why are you always here? And who told you to come here? Well, there are many places people are going everywhere. Why are you here? Tell me, why are you here? Say, say answer me. Just say, answer me today. What is it that you want to hear? You know, if you can answer right, that answer can keep you even when you are blessed. If you can answer right, that answer will still keep you even when you are blessed. Ask them, why are you here? Very soon, something is about to challenge you so that you must not do what you are doing. Can you see, you, are, you must be constant in your faith. That's where you can reach where God wants you to be. If you come here and you don't know why you are here, very soon you will change. Ask your neighbor, why are you here? Say, answer me today. The day you receive what you were crying for, we'll never see you. What makes you to come here if it's a need? Very soon, you'll find that need. And it's going to be a test for you. Can you see people go to church because they want something? And if you don't get it, you can still go somewhere. You don't go to church because you are led to fulfill the scriptures. Because church has to be your home. Ask your neighbor, why are you here? I'm not so, and I don't want to say, somebody told me to come. They're still going to tell you. They are still going to, without revelation, they are still going to tell you. I said, okay, okay. okay, did you go to tell me, I'm coming from there. All right, now move. Go to Soweto, I'm coming from there. Go to Johannesburg. You even know everywhere, you fly everywhere without revelation. If you don't know why you go to church, you go everywhere just to search for something. And when you don't find it, you have to go to another place. If you are misdirected, because you don't have connection by revelation, you are still going to go everywhere. Have you ever find you are going everywhere? The day you missed to come here was the day of your blessing. Have you ever find that you can find yourself going everywhere? And the day you miss, because you don't have revelation why you are there, you miss what you have been praying for for many years. When you read the scriptures of what happened to Isaiah, you'll find it's what I'm talking about. Why Isaiah, who was getting the game for his father, that day you could not catch anything. And he went away. And the mother said, hey, prepare. 
and the blessing that was supposed to be gotten by Esau, Jacob, take it away. The day you miss because you don't have revelation, on and off, on and off, it's possible that day someone can get your blessing. It's possible. It's not that what we are praying for. It's not easy to find. The problem is we don't have revelation. We don't know where we are supposed to be, where, where we are supposed to go. We have to patronize the church as we, people are patronizing some of us. We have to come to church because we want something. You must know that even coming to church, there's a test that will check if you are fit for what you are going for. God will never just give you like this. God has to put you in a test. And that test, if you don't pass it, you'll be surprised you are still struggling, turning around, moving around, without reaching to where God showed you. One of our, our nightmares today is we don't know if we are supposed to be here or not. I said, why are we here? Say, answer me today. That is why today you are here. Tomorrow you are somewhere. Because you cannot hear from God. And if you cannot hear from God, the visitations, that way, you prayed for, someone will get it. If you ever find you are crying for something, 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 you reach a place when God is giving and you are not there. God said, let's give this one. Many people who are having blessings, they don't belong to them. They belong to you who are crying. You have been crying for blessings, they are here. When they are here, Satan comes and tells you, you run away. When you run away, some people take them. Ah, you'll be surprised. People are not even praying, but they are testifying. If you ever find that people are not even praying, but they are testifying, if I'm you, I would rather say, let me commit myself. But there's no commitment without focus. There is no commitment without what? Being focused. Because if God wants to bless you, challenges that will come your way will come to shake your focus. Yes, we are seeing activities. Activity. God will never just give you. God is not a small boy. He's not disparate. God is not even disparate. He will never give you until he sees you are focused with that commitment you are talking about. For example, if you wake up and pray all the time, wake up and pray all the time, wake up and pray, there will be a day. Because your faith must be a constant. There will be a day where you have to be tested. If you are fit for, you fail. It's as good as you are writing an exam. Do you write an exam all the time? But you study all the time to write. You study all the time to write. Whether you are fit to pass to another level. So, our challenge today is we don't have what? Revelation. We don't have revelation. By the time of Elisha, when he was challenged so that he must not receive he was not told by the brethren, but by the prophets. They say, where are you going? We are seeing this man is going to die. Where are you going? But he said, no, I can see what the prophets are talking. He says, I know. The one who will tell me is God following this man. He has been following the man everywhere, but that day, the prophets, they prophesy. Whom are you following? You follow this man. God told us, we are prophets. We are seeing. But the issue is, if this man is going, who's going to take over if I'm not following? 
if Elisha might have turned back that day, God was supposed to have gone somewhere and choose a small boy without Elisha's commitment. Without Elisha's commitment. If we don't know that our commitment one day will be tested, we'll become very busy. But the day when God wants to reward us, we are not there. This is the preaching we need to preach to Christians. Because today all of you are Christians, but you don't know where you are going. Today, here yeah, there is another one there, you run there, another one there, you run there, another one. But no revelation. No revelation. I'm praying that God will start to speak with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If God began to speak with you and you become constant to what you believe in, you will change many people. Because remember, God does not want you to go to a place where it's not there. God doesn't want. You have to be an example of your following. I follow this until this happened. I'm Elisha. I follow Elijah until this happened. God will never commit anything to a person without a character. Because your commitment when you are following, you have to be tested if you are fit for that assignment. Therefore, the challenge will come to challenge your character. And if now you shake like this, you will miss, you know, where you are supposed to be. And someone will just come and take over. That's why today we have got many people who are in positions without a character. Because the people who just came and take over are the right people. They miss by without revelation. Oh, let's open the Bible. I, I forgot you are here for the Bible. I forgot you are here. Let's read scriptures. How many of you are here what I'm trying to tell you? You are hearing? Eh? From today, before you even go come here, you must ask God. You must ask God. You must have time with God. Time with God. Don't be in a church to please us. Pastors are very tired people. Pastors, very tired. And what worries pastors most of the time is congregants. Congregants. Moses was very tired. When he was very close to River Jordan, he was very tired. Moses. Very tired. Because say, what can I do? You are tired with these people. Ah. Let's replace this man. Whom can we get? Someone who's committed to Joshua. It was Joshua. Someone who's committed to Moses was what? Joshua. Ask him, where are you committed? Ask your neighbor. Ah. You, you are committed where? Are you focused there? God cannot just take someone. You cannot just take Mafiki Zolo. Mafiki Zolo, no. Mafiki Zolo, you'll be tempted by a spirit of pride. 